Keratocystic odontogenic tumor, KCOT, is a non-cancerous, or benign, growth that occurs in the jaw. Despite being benign, it is aggressive in nature. This means it can grow larger over time, displace teeth, and even damage the jawbone. The tumor originates from leftover cells of the dental lamina, which are involved in tooth development. The cyst is typically filled with keratin, a protein that makes up the structure of hair and nails. Unlike some other cysts, pressing on it won't cause it to burst, this is because these cysts are usually well encapsulated and firmly attached to the surrounding tissues. Mostly found in the lower jaw, the swelling from this cyst can vary in texture but is usually firm to the touch. It may also lead to a feeling of fullness in the jaw. Over time, the cyst will gradually expand, possibly causing the displacement of teeth and erosion of the jawbone. While rare, infections or ruptures can occur. Generally, KCOTs are painless and show no symptoms, but if symptoms do appear, they usually manifest as painless swelling. Even though it's benign, the cyst is aggressive and has a high recurrence rate after treatment. It is often the subject of discussion within the medical community due to its aggressive behavior. The exact cause of KCOT is unknown, but it is believed to be linked to genetic factors and, in rare cases, to trauma. Diagnosis. This condition is most commonly detected by a dental x-ray, often by accident, as there are usually no symptoms. The gold standard for diagnosis, however, is a biopsy along with a detailed examination of the tissue sample. Ultrasound and CT scans are sometimes used as additional diagnostic methods. The presence of parakeratinized stratified squamous epithelium in the sample is considered definitive for diagnosis. Treatment. Surgical removal is the most effective treatment, with methods ranging from simple enucleation to more aggressive forms like resection. It's worth noting that the recurrence rate is around 60%. While the condition does not impact lifespan due to its benign nature, its recurrence can cause discomfort for patients. Initially referred to as a cyst, it was later reclassified as a tumor because of its aggressive characteristics.